Okay, we'll do a video to show you what the failure mode of the throttle body valve motor assembly on our Freelander 2 white failed. So this is on the diesel Freelander 2 2.2 TD4 engine. It's also used on the Range Rover Evoque with the 2.2 diesel engine. And basically it's this butterfly valve. We've done a video showing how to change it. But you've got a motor here that powers a series of cogs and you'll see on the other video it was squealing when you turn the engine off it's going nah, yeah, something like that um, what you've got on the side here is you've got this case and you can bend these tabs back um, Ian's already done this for me um, and when you bend them all back all these tabs all the way around you can whoop that off um, it's got loads of oil in there. What do you reckon that's from the? It's probably from the diesel on the car, isn't it? I think it? that's just leaking Le through. Yeah, there. Well, you can see how diesely and crappy it is through, through those seals. Yeah, um, which is probably a, a good thing, possibly. So what you've got here is you can see the motor, and this this obviously spins, and just and it should move that. Um, but what you'll notice is if we take this cog off here, that's pretty dirty. So this cog looks okay. The inner cog doesn't look too bad, but you can see here the where it interfaces with that throttle valve. It should have, if I clean these, it should have some nice teeth on it like that. But you see when it relaxes to the start position, the fully open position, so obviously that's where it's always going. These cogs have completely worn off. And it I was wondering if we could, if it was worn on something like this, we could move that to a new position. So it but but this is bonded or fixed onto that. It's also limited. It's, it's shaped. Yeah, it's shaped, and you've got that. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, that's right. You can just probably see it in the light there. There's a sort of there's a definite end, so it's got a travel there. I like it is at the the back end there. So yeah, this is made from the. So yeah, that's a pretty. That's not too clever on Land Rover's part there to make that product. That's why they fail, and that's why you need to just replace this whole assembly.